In this equation, we have FeBr3 plus H2SO4. This is iron 3 bromide plus sulfuric acid. The first thing we need to do when we balance equations, we count the atoms up on each side. We have one iron atom, three bromine atoms, two hydrogen atoms, and we're going to use a bit of a trick here. We have a sulfate ion here and on this side of the equation. So we can just count it as one thing. So we're just going to say we have here in the reactants one sulfate ion. On the product side, two iron atoms, one bromine, one hydrogen, and here we have the sulfate again, but we have three of them. So that's going to make it a lot easier to balance this equation. You can see everything looks a lot neater when we do it this way. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just put a two in front of the iron three bromide? One times two, that would balance the iron atoms. And then this three times two here, that would give us six bromine atoms. We could just put a six in front of the HBr, one times six, that gives us six bromine atoms and one hydrogen times six. Now we have six hydrogen atoms. Why don't we put a three in front of sulfuric acid? Two times three, that gives us six and our one sulfate times three, that gives us three sulfate ions and we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's a lot quicker when you can count polyatomic ions as just one thing if they're on both sides. You get the same answer. This just saves a lot of time, which can be important on exams. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeBr3 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.